What's up guys, everything Apple Pro here and alongside the iOS 8.3 jailbreak, iOS 9 Beta 2 has been released. Now this latest version does include quite a bit of new features and changes and in this video I'm going to go ahead and highlight all of those, give you a general impression of iOS 9 Beta 2, whether you should update or not, and how to go about installing this latest version. To begin, handoff is back. So this previously disabled feature in iOS 9 has reappeared in this latest beta so you'll be able to transfer what you're doing from your computer or iPad to your iPhone and vice versa, basically trading off what you're doing between devices. On the iPad in select applications, you now have this new little arrow button. So in here you can undo, redo, and use the paste button. Now if you guys wanna get back to the original cut and copy menu, just select a word and now you have this little scissor icon right here where you can cut, copy, and paste as well. The search function has received some incremental upgrades. It's a lot quicker, more responsive, and it provides better search results, more organized. So you'll be seeing more results from different applications in here. Now, if you head over to settings, inside of the search settings, there is now an option to disable individual third-party applications. Previously in here, there were only Apple stock applications for the search function. Inside of the iCloud settings, there is now a new trigger for the news application to sync news content across many devices. Still no sign of that news application yet though. Now this feature was present in the first beta. It just took updating to the second beta to find it, but basically your iOS and nine system will now allow you to temporarily delete applications in order to make room for the iOS update. Now starting with the podcast application, let's take a look at some of these smaller features. The new icon for podcasts is bolder and it's different. The Apple Watch Manager has been renamed to just Watch. So instead of Apple Watch, it's just known as Watch. Inside of Safari settings, that new content blockers tab has been removed. So it's nowhere to be found unless you have one installed on iOS 9. Now when clicking autofill inside of Safari, you'll now be greeted with this message. So you'll be able to use Touch ID to access all of your saved Safari passwords. And from there, you'll be able to choose the certain one for the certain website. Take a look at the clock icons, iOS 8.3 being on the right. They have finally updated the clock face inside of the clock application to the new San Francisco font. The app switch review in iOS 9 was a bit too fast. So this is iOS 9 beta 1. As you can see, when swiping, you can transfer through the cards very fast. Now when swiping on beta 2, there's a delay. So you got to swipe more in order to swipe faster, whereas on iOS 9 beta 1, it would go too fast and you'd miss your application. So definitely a welcome addition. So guys, that's pretty much it for the new features and changes. Now to install this latest beta, if you already have iOS 9 beta 1, all you need to do is go into settings, go into general, software update, and in here you will notice that there will be a software update. Make sure you're charged 50% and connected to Wi-Fi. You can go ahead and complete it. Now if you guys do not have iOS 9 and you want to get it, go ahead and click on that annotation and it will take you to a video where you can go ahead and install it and then go ahead and update to beta 2 from the settings application. Very simple. So guys, I hope with this video you learned a thing or two about iOS 9 beta 2. It's definitely moving in a direction that's going to be more usable for a day-to-day -day usage. And iOS 9 overall is a great firmware. It has so much features. Check out my other videos where I do show some of the hidden features, stuff that Apple really hasn't talked about. There's a ton to learn. And of course, when I do learn more features, I'll be sharing all of those with you guys as well. Anyways, enjoy iOS 9 Beta 2. Have a great day, guys. Peace.